Hey Canucks fans, welcome to Clay's Canucks Commentary for Thursday, June the 7th. I'm Clay Emo at Canuck Clay on Twitter, I'm at Clayton Emo on Instagram, and I'm a founding member of the GLCPC, the Good Looking Canucks Positivity Club. Been away for the past week, I was running a big conference for youth workers out at St. Mark's College at UBC. Went really well, thanks for asking, but now it's done, and I'm happy to get back to these regular updates. On Tuesday night, we learned of the sad news of the passing of longtime Canucks public address announcer, John Ashbridge. And Ashbridge's voice and his tone and his tenor, um, very familiar to all Canucks fans for many, many years. Pacific Coliseum, then GM Place, now Rogers Arena. And he did a lot of the Olympics. He's done all-star games. And he's even he was even the voice for a long time in the EA Sports NHL series. So Canucks fans, they know his voice. Fans from around the league know his voice. The past few years, as he got older, his health decline, started to share duties with guys like Al Murdoch at the arena. So I know Al's been on, on the media a lot the last couple of days, also giving respect to John. Everyone's giving respect to John. as a kind man, a knowledgeable man, a passionate man, a man who gave time for, for other people. And I just want to share with you two quick stories that I had, two, two interactions or at least um, stories that connect with John. And I, I think they're both kind of neat, actually. I only got a chance to meet him once or twice at a couple of team functions, but one of my good friends, Dave, he actually, um, him and his family knew John uh, quite well. So much so that when Dave got married in 2007 to his lovely bride, Kathy, um, I was one of the four groomsmen, and he asked John Ashbridge, because it was a Canucks-themed reception, he asked John Ashbridge to record all the intros for the wedding party. And I'm going to link the video down below in my description. It's, it's got over it's close to 13,000 views because it's a lot of fun. The video quality isn't the best. I think I had a goofy little handheld camera at the time and it was actually my wife doing it. it isn't, not because she was filming that it was bad. It was just, we, we were far better. You'll see. Anyways, it's pretty awesome. There's smoke. There's lights. There's the familiar sound of U2's where the streets have no name. And then... The, the best part ever, you hear John Ashbridge's voice saying, welcome to the wedding reception uh, you know, of Dave and Kathy. And now, and there's a part in there about th the 35 second mark where it says, starting at groomsmen, Mr. Clayton Emo. So not only did he nail my last name properly, because I'm sure Dave told him how to say it, but it was just really cool to hear John Ashbridge announce, not necessarily my voice, but at the very end, the new married couple, Dave and Kathy Leeson. And we all came in with sticks. We kind of did that, did the arch to allow Dave and Kathy to walk through us. People were waving their napkins, so substituting them as white towels. And it was really, really cool. It's just a really nice touch for, the, for a very memorable wedding reception. So once again, I invite you to check it out. It's only two minutes. I'll put it in the description below. But it was a lot of fun. And to hear John Ashbridge's voice doing Canuck-style introductions for a wedding reception is pretty darn cool. The other story is more recent. A couple years ago, uh, you may have seen my cousin Dusty, my first cousin Dusty, who actually had a, a storied NHL career, played um, in for the New West Bruins, the Lethbridge Hurricanes, played uh, tried out for some pro teams, and most importantly played for the Team Japan in the 1998 Nagano Winter Olympics. Anyways, he's a goalie, a very good goalie, and he um, he's also done goaltending coaching for the Jets organization and most recently the LA Kings organization. Anyways, two years ago, you may have seen the story where my cousin Dusty, because of a series of injuries to... Um, guys like Jonathan Quick and then uh, Zatkov and Budai. In essence, everyone moved up. So my cousin's son, Jonah, was signed to play for their Ontario Reign, the LA Kings um, farm team. And because of the four, two goalies got injured, two goalies had to move up to the Kings. So two goalies for the Kings, two injured, two for the Kings. Then Jonah, my cousin's kid, they needed a backup. So that was when my cousin Dusty, at 46 years old, as the goaltending coach for the Ontario Reign, suited up as a backup for that game. Anyway, so Dusty and Jonah made history as the first father-son team to suit up for a, a pro game, AHL, but still pro, considered pro. And it was really cool. Dusty didn't get in the game. Maybe it's a good thing, but no, I'm sure he's great still. And, and Jonah ended up playing that game, and Dusty did not get in the game. Anyways, um, I was uh, doing some blogging with Canucks and podcasting with the Canucks hockey blog at the time, and one of uh, the, the producer of our podcast, Matt Lee, who used to work for CKNW, he knows John Ashbridge quite well. And apparently there's a story where where um, Matt was looking for uh, maybe confirmation or confirmation of the pronunciation of our last name to do a story on the radio, or, or maybe he simply was having conversation. But apparently Matt and John went back and forth uh, with some heated emails with John Ashbridge insisting that our name was pronounced Emu. Uh, which is actually incorrect, but and and John's claim was he had now 
he, you know, announced and pronounced and introduced Dusty, my cousin, as a goaltender in some charity games. He played for the Canucks. He plays for the Canucks alumni, even though he wasn't never played for the Canucks organization. Canucks organization, but still, John Ashbridge was very familiar with Dusty and his work and his goaltending work, and he was insistent that his name was pronounced Emu. Matt, no, uh, you know, no. Uh, Working with him on the podcast, he knew that the pronunciation, at least the way I pronounce my last name, is emo. So Matt went back respectfully to John and said um, that no, it's actually emo because uh, you know I work with the guy who 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 obviously knows how to pronounce his last name. And then I I think I kind of went back and forth. There was some colorful language in there. It was all good. It was it was, it was all over name. It was no big deal. So either one of two things: either John is very was very stubborn and very set in his ways and passionate, which is good, or uh, Dusty and I pronounce our last names differently. Doesn't even though it's the same last name. Regardless, I thought it was just a really cute story. Another interaction uh, where John was showing his passion and his knowledge of the game and and obviously his conviction, standing up for what he believes in. So, Mr. Asbridge, we will miss you. We will pray for the repose of your soul. May God bless you and may He give you give you rest in heaven. And for your wife and your entire family, we pray for them as well as they cope during this difficult time. Canucks fans, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear what you thought um, or think. What are your memories of John Ashbridge? Is a particular call, a particular name, or a particular saying that he would say? Um, and t check out the video down below. I'd love, to, I'd love for you to check it out cause, just because it was such a fun and such a unique experience. All right, I'll get back with a more regular update over the weekend, maybe talking about the upcoming draft, which is only two weeks away, or maybe some of the rumblings in Canucks land. But anyways, want to check in, say hello. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Um, give this video a like if you like what I'm doing. And most importantly, have a great day. God bless and go Canucks go.